Hi guys, it's Ben here, and despite that just being a pre-season friendly, you cannot help but be impressed with what Liverpool have just done to an elite team in Bayern Munich. So Liverpool have just thrashed Bayern Munich 3-0 at the Allianz Arena. It could have been more, probably should have been with the Grudis goal being disallowed, but we'll take the 3-0. We'll take that performance where we dominated from start to finish. The first goal from Mane came early and from then on it was just one-way traffic. We really restricted them to very few chances. I know they're a week behind us in their pre-season preparation. They don't start their season until a week later than we do, but the difference was there in fitness, in desire, in tempo. We were just better than them in all departments. Renato Sanchez, the guy I was really looking forward to seeing in midfield, just couldn't get the foot on the ball. He got completely outplayed by Liverpool's midfield. Vidal came on in the second half, even he couldn't do anything about it and got into a bit of a scrap with Alana at the end. The only problem, of course, Daniel Sturridge scores a wonder goal and then gets injured. What a horrible, horrible shame for him. Klopp's really been liking the look of him in pre-season. He's been looking sharp, but after scoring a typical Sturridge, lovely goal with his left foot, chipped the keeper. He pulls up in the process and it gets replaced by Dominic Solanke. So that does put a damper on what was a wonderful, wonderful night for Liverpool. But let's get into player ratings. And goal, Loris Karius. It's bizarre, but he had very little to do. I thought he did okay. He came out for a lot of balls. He pretty much a sweeper keeper at times. Didn't have many saves to make, but looked pretty comfortable on the whole bar. One or two moments, but pretty happy about how he played. Seven out of 10. Right back, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Just doesn't look phased by any stage at all. Even by Munich away from home, he was playing with it in his own box, he was doing things, not panicking, not just clearing his lines, but finding a teammate, no matter where he was on the pitch, no matter how many Bayern Munich players he had around him, always calm, always composed, always looking to get forward, 7 out of 10. Again, the Lovren and Matic partnership, they start together, they win together, they don't concede a goal, both of them played very well. Matip in particular, I think, led the two of them pretty impressively. I'm gonna give both of them an eight out of 10. To come away with no goals conceded at the Allianz Arena is impressive. Had Lewandowski in their pocket throughout. Never let James Rodriguez find too much space. Very impressive from that duo. Alberto Moreno, also very good. I mean, he put one ball in early on to Salah, which was a bit like Robertson's ball to Salah at Berlin on Saturday. This was from the left-hand side, a low cross, which had to be through the Ivan Neal to find Salah. Did find him, but the Egyptian couldn't quite find the finish. He found the keeper at the near post, but brilliant for Moreno and he was involved in the second goal as well after he overlapped around Sadio Mane, found the cross, took a couple of deflections, but found its way to Salah who made it 2-0. 8 out of 10 for Moreno, good for him to get in the shot window like that. Jordan Henson and Emre Chan played together in midfield. Now I wasn't sure if Liverpool were going to do this, but they did play with two sitting midfielders in Chan and Henderson, which allowed Coutinho to play and have a bit more of a free roll, and then you had the two pacey wingers on either side. So the Henderson-Chan dynamic worked pretty well. I think Chan probably had the better of the first half, but Henderson got into it as the game went on. I'd say they both deserve a 7 out of 10. I was quite impressed on the whole. It wasn't Henderson's best display of preseason so far, but he had a lot of work to do off the ball, which he didn't necessarily have to do so much of in the other games earlier on in preseason. Philip Coutinho in midfield, always, always wonderful. No real star moments for him this time, but decent performance all round. He was continuously looking for Salah on the run, and there were a few occasions in the first half, because we scored so early, by a minute played such a high line. He almost found them a few times, not quite, but still, Great from the Magician, 7 out of 10. Mohamed Salah scores again for Liverpool. Should have scored one just before with the Moreno ball in, but he does get his head on the end of the second one and just an absolute threat throughout. I think he deserves an 8 out of 10. Sadio Mane, it was never in doubt that he was going to score when Firmino played him in for the first goal. His role in the second one was beautiful. The awareness to know exactly when to play the pass and to do it with such skill to completely take the blind defender out of the game. Just a complete nuisance and yeah, this, this was a Sadio Mane of old, 9 out of 10. Roberto Firmino probably had his best game in pre-season. Again, he wasn't involved in having many chances himself to score. There was one when he should have passed it to his left or his right when he was bursting through on goal in the second half, but Hummels got back in and stopped him. I think he just made the wrong decision there, but he really worked for the team. And having Mane and Salah on the wings allowed Firmino to drop in deep, and then they were almost a front two at times, Mane and Salah. But yeah, the dynamic of the front three was just really exciting. Firmino was impressive, seven out of 10. Junior Wijnaldum and Adam Milana came on at halftime and just maintained control of the midfield. I thought they were both very solid. Whether or not we do sign a midfielder, I'm not sure, but it will be a shame to see either of those drop out of the first 11. To be honest, look, this was Renato Sanchez tonight. Was he great? Did he look brilliant against that, these guys? Would he get into this team necessarily? I don't know. I mean, I really liked him at the Euros last year. I've not seen much of him since. Should we really be looking at him? I don't know. He's an exciting player, a good young player with lots of potential. I'd be all for us signing him. Would he get into our team right away? I don't know. But Bernardo and Alana both got 7 out of 10. Ryan Kent and Marco Grujic both came on midway through the second half and looked like they, between them, made it 3 0 when Ken just completely did their fullback, took it around him and then squared it for Grujic who 
converted off the post and the keeper, but Lana was obstructing the keeper, so offside was given harsh. Ryan Kent, I'm now at the point where I just think, let's just keep him, let's just have him around. I kind of feel like we are one wide player short with Mane and Salah there. Who else have we really got that's got genuine pace and width? It's comfortable playing that position. Ryan Kent can play on either flank, and he's really mixing it with the big boys in pre-season. Let's give him a go. He gets seven out of 10 tonight. Grujic gets seven too. I thought he looked pretty dominant in midfield when he came on. Clavin and Sturridge also came on at that time. Clavin looked absolutely fine. I think there was one really impressive interception when Lewandowski looked like he had a tap in, so it's seven for him. Daniel Sturridge gets an eight just for that wonderful finish, but God, I feel sorry for him if he is seriously injured. It looked like he fell it as soon as he took that shot, but yeah, eight out of 10 for Sturridge. Wonderful, wonderful goal, typical of him. Flanagan, Woodburn, and Slankiel came on towards the end. Woodburn played the assist for Sturridge, so he can have a seven. The others can have a six. Man of the match goes to Sadio Mane. A goal, a lovely goal with that. And then the pre-assist for Salah's goal was excellent. Just pure pace and troublesome full play throughout. So big well done to him. So excited to see both Mane and Salah on the wing at the same time. It can work and it has worked against one of Europe's best clubs. So who knows what can happen in the league against the bottom 13 clubs. I feel like we can tear anybody apart. Not reading too much into pre-season, as I say in every single one of these videos, but you cannot help but be impressed. We've just completely put Bayern Munich to the sword. You can't help but be excited, and I'm intrigued to see what we do tomorrow against Atletico Madrid. Can we put in a similar sort of display? They're much more resolute. They're not going to play such a high line. It's going to be much more compact. We're not going to have Mane and Salah. I don't know who's going to play. I'll get into that in my preview, which will be out shortly. But what a win for Liverpool. We're into the final. Jealous of everyone that was out there. Leave a comment with your man of the match and your overall thoughts on us just beating Bayern Munich by three goals to nil. You cannot help but be excited. And does this take your mind off transfers for one day? Our squad isn't that bad when they put in this players like this. We do need Van Dijk, of course we do. But other than that, are we pretty much okay? Do we need to sign a midfielder necessarily? We've got some fantastic players in that position. Maybe we need another winger, but Ryan Kent looks like he deserves a chance. Why not? He's showing in pre-season that he is worthy of a place maybe in the extended squad. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials at Ben Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.